Hello traders, this is my blog episode 17 and this one is all about me being a good monkey so that I could get my bananas this week. So this is last week's results and as you know if you watch that previous video that I was in drawdown in my performance account this week I still am in drawdown. I only took two trades in this one and then I decided to stop because I'm, I'm just getting dangerously low from the point of blowing this and that is not what I want to do. So I'm really focusing on these four accounts. And so uh, this was my my best looking account um, at the beginning of the week. And this is where I'm standing at the end of the week. And this is really nice because I went into pretty good drawdown. I was down $600 in this account. And so um, what I've been doing with these four accounts is actually trading minis, not micros. But since I dropped below the $49,500 mark, I went from minis to micros. And I, I'm doing five micros, so I'm halving my risk. And if I lose another 500, then I'll reduce my risk down to two or three micros. Uh, but hopefully I won't get there. And so anyway, I was really, really able to turn this around nicely, um, even after reducing my contract size. Um, Whereas uh, this account still experienced some more some more drawdown as well as this one, and then I got a, a little a little gain to bump it up from where I was sitting um, on the sixth of November, where I was down uh, 128, and now I'm down 104. Um, but anyway, I'm still happy with where things are at, and um, I've done some things this week that I think have helped me in getting my mind right and really creating a better plan to move forward. This is a, a trade that I took on Friday. This was a great trade. I only took two trades um, and they were both winners. Um, there was some context around it. And I'll go over that here in a second, but just wanted to show the trade. I was able to capture 43 points on this MNQ trade. And I got in on a 15 second chart on this trade because price had uh, it come off a low, which I'll show here in a second. Um, but as we went higher and then we pulled back it was in this pullback that I went ahead and went long because to me this was um, inside of an order block and so I just went ahead and went long and I had going for a, a, about a two to one target um, based on my risk to reward and I was actually able to push it out and squeeze a little bit more out of it. And specifically what I was looking at is we had the London low. This took out the London low pre-market. So this was 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. So we took out this London low and then, you know, off we went. So I was waiting. I was watching this on a four hour chart, wanting to see this liquidity taken before I engaged. And we got that and everything else kind of fit the criteria and worked out really nice, especially since we were in such a bull market last week. Uh, this was uh, the second trade that I took. And uh, on this one, uh, I executed the trade also on a 15 second chart. But this is just showing the one minute. Um, we had this low, we popped a little higher, but then we made a lower low. So this is a breaker. And then all of a sudden we ran from there. And so as we came back down, I also, I don't have it on here, but I had a Fibonacci uh, drawn for like OTE. And as we came back in, there were a lot of things were lining up with this breaker. Um, but then I still waited until we, until we got another pop. So we got this pop up, taking out like all these little highs and I entered in long here, which would have been also inside this little breaker. I know it's not a pretty breaker, but you know, low, high, lower, low displacement here. We had a fair value gap. So I got in here. This one, uh, and I got a little lucky. I had a 12 point stop loss and it got within, I think, $1.75 of, of hitting my stop loss. So I got close on this one, but um, ultimately I was able to get. Um, 32.5 points because I had I had it set for the two to one, but then all of a sudden I saw price really pushing. And so I moved my target up and got stopped out there. And so that was good. Now, this is what I could have had. Now, the reason I'm putting this on here is I know woulda, shoulda, coulda, but this is to help build confidence for me over time. I'm totally fine with what I got, but this is pretty, pretty amazing because this was my this was my weekly target. Um, objective which price ended up going to and going past so if I would have been at the bottom uh, this was a daily um, SIBI and if I would have on this first trade just gotten out there that would have been 258 points instead of 43 points or at the high 320 uh, and then this one the second entry would have 
produced uh, 135 points or 195 points. Now, I know I didn't get anywhere near that, and I'm totally fine with that because too often I have not taken profits at the low-hanging fruit, and I haven't been good at moving my stop loss to break even, and I've let price come all the way back on me and then stop me out. So it's just been painful. So me taking profits at two to one has been very helpful. So what have I been doing? What's been helping? Well, having multiple accounts has been very helpful because now as I'm limiting myself on the number of trades that I'm willing to take per day, it gives me more than two bullets theoretically to, to, to use in the market because I have multiple accounts. So if I take two losses in one account, um, and not to mention, I'm not trading the same strategy in all the accounts. So it allows me to focus on one thing. If there are losses, instead of me getting too flustered with those losses, I can now switch to another account and then kind of go into that other trade strategy mode and then see if I can't produce something there. And it's just been, it's been really helpful. And you know, you can do that in a SIM account, paper trade. Yeah. Um, but I'm kind of getting aggressive with trying to pass these evals. And I'd, I'd rather have my trading efforts go, go to something that counts, especially since it's been so cheap to get some of these accounts through Apex when they offer their 90% off, which they do all the time. So it's helped me to, uh, to be able to stay within that context as far as lowering my number of trades uh, per day, but having multiple accounts so I can continue to re-engage the market if the price action um, allows it. Also, the risk management. Um, so as I've incurred more drawdown, I am going from minis to micros. And then once I make up 50% uh, of that drawdown, then I can go back to minis. And so having more um, strict risk management has been helpful. The other thing has really um, been playing out recently is me focusing a lot more on the higher time frame liquidity, uh, specifically trying to see if there's really a, a usable correlation between the Asia London price action, uh, especially when I align it with my weekly bias, if I can uh, use that to, and I, I have a lot more back testing to do in that regard, but uh, there's some things that have panned out recently. And so too early to say that it's an edge, but uh, something that I'm definitely focusing on. The other big one is just reducing my profit targets which I know all this I've already mentioned, but it's uh, I, it's just been helpful to start paying the trader. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. And the other really good thing has been finally starting to create a trade log. I've been terrible at maintaining a spreadsheet of my trades. Um, not so much just for, I mean, the data is obviously important, uh, but what I'm finding more important is the comments that I'm putting in there as far as what I'm analyzing after the fact. And uh, there's some, key things that have already stood out that I've been or been able to implement um, that has been very helpful, such as that just take profits at two to one. Uh, too many trades I've had as losers that if I would have just gotten out at two to one, excuse me, two to one, it would have been profitable instead of a loser. And it's like, who wouldn't be willing to take two to one profit versus a loser? Well, me, I'm that guy. So anyway, I'm changing that. But so the trade, the trade log uh, journal has been really helpful. The other thing is working continued on my psychology. And so I'm reading this book uh, by Jared Tindler, The Mental Game of Trading. Now, previously, if you've watched my other videos, I read, and I actually read this one pretty quickly. It was um, Best Loser Wins by Tom Hogard. It was a fantastic book. Uh, this book is a bit more heady, so it requires more brain power and actually more activities for you to perform. So I'm going slow at it, but I'm already seeing a benefit. And so this is a, definitely a, a big area of my focus of what is seeming to um, provide some positive results in my trading uh, of late. But so the PA account is gonna basically be on hold until I get through um, to mid-December and see what I can do with these evals and uh, before I re-engage it, unless I just see an absolutely perfect trade setup, which I'm willing to take, but I'm using I'm using one micro and you know, I'll take one trade a day on it um, and try to keep it to like one trade a week. So it's a really good trade setup. But anyway, these are my focus, hoping to get those uh, passed pretty quickly. That's why I'm using the, the larger leverage. I know there's risk in that, but I'm trying to also be smart about it by limiting my trades, sticking to my trade plan, and uh, we'll see what happens. 
So as always, traders, I hope that you are advancing in your trading. I hope that you're um, meeting your goals. And uh, I hope that you are taking more from the market than it's taking from you. And as always, may the ticks be forever in your favor. Peace out. Mm -hmm.